Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 22. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 4th of October 2019. Here are the players. Hello, this is Adrian. I play Arya, who is the half-elf druid. Hi there, I am Scott. I play Crumbar, the Crumbar. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I heard Kat, I heard Ryan say it last time. Um, I'm, <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, you know what? That is the, that is exactly what my interest. Is. I am yeah. So as said, I'm Crumbar. I'm playing a half orc paladin. Thank you, Me yeah. Crumbar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty the Kill, a former Tabaxi rogue, now a wood elf. Thank you. Oh. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. There we go, and. Uh... Callum is no, not with us this session. I was going to say no longer with us, but that's a really grim way of putting that. Um, so. Well, he said he's dying, so... Yeah. But we will we will soldier on in his name, or better. And let's see. You know, if we go near a volcano... Yeah, it's just it's people slip, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so get, you. get well soon, Callum! We miss you! <laughs> Ever since that volcano. <laughs> um, right, okay. Um, what do people remember from last time? I don't remember anything. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> I remember uh, reaching, I remember not being able to speak due to Profeta rolls being stuffed in my face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm no longer a cat person mm -hmm. thing. I yep, am now yep. a, a Mind wood elf. blown. Yep. <laughs> um, where did we kind of end up at the end? So Kitty turned into not a kitty, mm -hmm. and then what happened? Right, we didn't leave, did we? But uh, we ended up rolling to see where we would go. Uh, well, uh, we end, uh, ended up we had tied vote, and it was your vote that cast it, and we went south. Why are we going south? Uh, just because it's your vote. <laughs> no, yeah, like, you what, to... what south, I mean? Sorry. Uh, right. It's kind of southwest, you know, or something. Uh, I think it just means but... in general, Stu. So I think what yeah. it means is the hellhole. What is, yeah, is, uh, there's two more outbreaks, so we're going to see uh, the closest one. Outbreaks of measles? Of Abyss. Outbreaks of vegans. Of uh, nah, we'd be going another direction. <laughs> so let's go to the world map and then let's um, for Scott's benefit do you see the, the potential outbreaks Scott? the the two big gonorrhea looking things on the map yeah so the how have you animated that? that's awesome so because I'm never mind so magic there we go mm -hmm. horizon is where you are and you're going to go from there to here. The choices was there or there because you're working for Justoria. Right. Can I just do a spanner oh, in the works? Uh, no. What? You don't have a about, spanner. I'll throw a hammer in the works then. Okay. <laughs> what have we done? Have we done anything about the boat that needs to go to Glitterhagen that we're meant to be on? Yeah. That, but we're that boat went to Glitterhagen. Them. So. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's. <laughs> Yeah, they've That's got things to do. Remember, they have other passengers and such. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just because I know that they were waiting for us. I don't just want us to be like, right, let's go on this adventure. And they most so definitely like... were not waiting for you. Oh, were well, they not? No, they oh. they dropped you off because you had the choice to go to Glitterhagen or bribe the boat to go to Horizon. And the guy that, the captain, remember the guy that just looked off into the distance a lot? He, um, yeah. he is now going to expect, because he's got that note, to give to the Golden Order to like pay me lots of money because I went to Horizon as a detour, delaying <laughs> all my passengers. Yeah. yeah so that happened. Oh so, well. So there is no boat, you'd need to get your own boat. Who needs to go to Glitterhagen anyway? I think. Odds. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, yeah. it seems, seems like the, <laughs> the party seemed to want to, yeah. Like that, that's it's in the kind of the journal, as it were. But I mean, I, I think if there's literal fire on the world, that's kind of probably more important right now. So yeah. 
I right. just didn't want to make sure that, you know, some poor wee boat man was proper hanging about for us. <laughs> Literally just waiting there. They said they'd be back. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like, sir, we, we're, we're running late. I'm, I'm, I'm 12 months late for work. Ah, we wait. <laughs> Aye, we wait. <laughs> Stares off into the sea. So anyway, what else do you remember from last time? So the gist of it was, Justoria says, come work for me under the guise of investigating problems in the world, but really it's, let's see if my dad's up to shenanigans. Oh, so she didn't turn out to be uh, Celeste. No, but she's a kind of, appears to be a goodie, or at least we've, yeah, we see it's just, at the moment. It's just so weird that Celeste hasn't, like, kind of got in touch with her. Because yeah. of, because see the thing that like made me think that she was Celeste the most, right? Is because Celeste was like, oh, once you get him, I'll find, I'll find you. And then we got these random letters. And I was like, oh, maybe the story is actually Celeste. And this is her way to get us to bring the thing. Which does make together. sense, right? Especially not only from like, say, Crumbar's point of view, but even just from a player point of view, that does make sense, right? There's no bolt in the logic to that assumption. I mean, apart from the fact that she can't enter this realm, but you know... Yeah, besides that, but... Yeah. But then... Like I say, Crumbar may be thick as men's, but I'm smart as fuck, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that in mind, yeah, now, I assume you understand that you've got, you've got your inventory all sorted out, you've got your XP, you got your potion of long rest, etc, etc... I don't think if anything mm. else had to be covered for that, other than Eric learned he didn't have his stuff. That's about it, really. Does Eric but have clothes on yet? Remember, he has that real. You were here for the really nice red sorry, outfit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I rephrase. Does Eric have his own clothes on yet? <laughs> well, he's not had his own clothes for a long time. Oh, yeah, they're stuck in the void somewhere, aren't they? Well, remember, he's come back from the abyss. Even. Then Dane Valafiel, like, gave him some fancy elven robes because he was like, you look a mess for the mistress. Then dressed him better. Then he went and spoke and, like, chilled out and had Netflix and chill with the Wizard King. And then, you know, just teleported naked. Back to you guys. Fought some trees naked. And then, yeah. And that's another point. The uh, Wizard King has effectively uh, doped him with... Uh, Radioactive stuff, so we can track him effectively. Yeah. yeah, did you did you catch that part where um yeah about had, had mentioned that you've, you've magic food yeah he's yeah the Eric yeah being able to get spied on through his food yeah how long that lasts though right if it is on the food mm. I mean surely after you done seventy two hours <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll see what the, the half-life of magical radioactive isotope tracking is. Um, I think Cranberry just so fix it. I mean, Prune just more likely, but um, <laughs> anyway, uh, moving I, I swiftly on. I think we're going to off topic. To be fair, we did cover things related to the game, such as the tracking, so that's probably useful. Um, however, the only thing the Wizard King's likely to see is a bunch of people investigating some dodginess in the Direwood, right? So... It's not exactly the I'm worst. Guess, I'm guessing Direwood's the place to the south that we're going. It is indeed. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's not so. as the Direwood. People don't go there willingly unless they're up to shenanigans such as, you know, dodgy magical experiments that people in Horizon wouldn't be okay with. Hmm. Yeah, totes safe. I mean, I guess that's why they call it dire, right? Yeah, it's not like the joyous woods, right? Although, to be fair, if you went to the joyous woods, you'd probably just be stabbed by fae, right? So, <laughs> nobody, nobody needs that. So, basically, we're going to Australia, where everything's trying to... I mean, I don't know, I don't feel like you've had that good a run so far, right? But anyway, we're going off topic. Let's talk about goals. Currently, the party goal is investigate the dire wood hellhole. I'm assuming yep. we're we're all we're all still good with that unless MD's thought of any yep, yep. changes. Sounds good. Yeah. Crumbar? Oh, that's what I called my ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh, what dire wood? <laughs> <laughs> no, dire wood hellhole. Oh, uh, and Kitty, you're all okay with this as well, yeah? 
you. Cool. Uh, yeah, our well, goals were easy this week. Uh, let's go back to our map. So, I believe we left off with you just getting essentially the rest you needed, waking up, making a plan to like say right, mm -hmm. where we're we heading off first. And then we ended with Crumbar like smacking the map and say, we go to this one. You know, we take to the fight, etc, etc. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where we ended the session anyway. So <laughs> we did it because the party were 50-50 split. And then I thought, right, I'm just going to roll. Uh, so I rolled your wisdom, which was a flat d20. And I said, odds this place evens that other place. And it rolled and you picked south. And I thought that was the fairest way to kind of tie break. Plus it kept it well, within I mean, the party, which was kind of cool. I mean, it's like the Ents in Lord of the Rings. It's like, you know, it's traveling south feels faster, so, you know. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense to go do that one first. Plus, you, the logic I used, right, to justify what the dice randomly picked was <laughs> it's nearer the abyss and Crumbar wanted to hit things. So. You know me so well, Callum. Callum? Makes oh, yeah. sense. Wow. Nine. You don't even know me at all? Oh! <laughs> wow. So it's because it's, it's cause when you said I wanted to hit things, uh -huh. I instantly saw, thought of Callum. Wow. Poor Callum. <laughs> Understandable, but poor Callum. I um, can't believe you called me Callum. No offence to you, Callum, God. but I'm here. I'm the GM. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Crumbar dies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nice, nice that. I'm surprised I'm not in the shame cube. <laughs> Two party members down. Um, should have been your campaign. Right, okay, so. <laughs> Grumbar stabbed the map. Are we fading to leaving Horizon, or do you have anything left you want to do within Horizon? Well, Justoria was saying that she doesn't want us to talk to her anymore. She said the less contact, the better, quite frankly. Ah, basically she doesn't want us to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, considering she managed to speak to two of them at the same time, that was pretty impressive. Um, so. I'd be... I'd, I mean, guys, I can't think any that would need to use need anything. You'd like arrows or... No. Like, I'm, I'm good. Do you have any not-kitty business to do? <laughs> I mean, like, if you're not a cat anymore, you might want to go and be like, go up to your wizardy friend and be like, suck it! Uh, that, that's not an important thing right now. The, like, you know, the abyss and all that <laughs> stuff is kind of <laughs> taking priority. I mean, that, that was if still... If we came there. across him, then I'd be like, yeah, fuck you! But... <laughs> I mean, that stuff will all still be there. I mean, it's... Yeah! You know? It's fine. My favourite thing last time we played, and I don't know if uh, Scott got that far, but it was uh, Stuart's comment about, um, I am aware that we haven't yet told the Great Gold Worm about his son. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that, yeah. Was, that was my favourite thing to come out of last week, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, no, but did we not say to the guy at uh, the Citadel about it? It's a Drekka, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the high, like acting high commander is a Drekka. Yeah, we we put it through the chain. <laughs> yep. If you're happy with that, I guess. I mean, he's a big gold boy. You can look after him. Can you look after his son though? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he maybe meant guild there, but well, yeah. I mean. I mean, we're, if we go south, that's closer to the abyss, so we can always jump in and give him some honours. Do, do you remember how you got in the... Never mind. I remember we jumped down, but it's fine. Now we're just using Callum to break her fall. <laughs> just put all of in those fact, discarded no. outfits together to make a parachute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. It's not, they're I discarded. Run down now. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and monks. It is damn cool. Monks are so cool. It's just that needing to punch. That's the thing I don't like. <laughs> Melee, you say. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So, if there's nothing to do then in Horizon, like, I guess you just leave Horizon? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Right, cool. Um you should start walking south, I guess. What's um the vibe within the group? Like what's everybody like is everybody quite happy? Uh, any horses uh, for us or anything? I mean I did literally just ask if he's had any business in this in yeah, this okay. yeah. Um I, Adanash, I think that was her surname. Adanash. I was trying to think what the acting high like commander's surname was. I'm like, I know her first <laughs> name is Adreka, but it's Adanash. So, I think Crumbar would just be kind of still contemplating where the, where the cat went. <laughs> and just kind of like staring at the, the, the elf that is now in its place. And... I'm guessing after a long stare, like Kitty would end up like just kind of like catching it, like, "Why are you what? staring at me?" kind of thing, and then it would just be like, "Look at Kitty," and it's just like, "Well, yes, it's a good thing I didn't eat you then." <laughs> I just sigh, really. <laughs> and I just imagine like you just completely blanking me as I'm still staring at you, like. But you were a cat. Well, like every now, now and then I'll stumble. Yeah. I'm not used to like the long legs that I now have. <laughs> yeah, just because you don't have a tail either, so your balance is just <laughs> pretty much. Okay. Well, I think if there's nothing a uh, conversationally apt, who's taking point on this journey? Who's I'll lead? take point since it was me that kind of made the final decision and yeah. And, and and I I have a feeling as well, like, you know, you're saying that I slammed like a knife in the map, being like, "We're going here," or like your finger, or whatever it was, yeah. Yeah, I I just like the fact that like it'd be more like Crombar just like, "Well, I'm going here," and then just walks out the door. <laughs> Stupid nonsense. And it's cat, like cat everyone else will just be like, yeah, everyone else is like, "Well, guess we better follow him." Okay then, well if you're leading the party and everybody else is following suit, can you give me a survival check, please? Huh? Oh my. I really wish Aria was doing this. <laughs> yeah, I was actually wondering who's the best, but I thought it was Aria. Boom! All the survival. Perfect. Cool. About half the time we're going in the right direction. I mean, there's six <laughs> of us in a roll of nine, so you know, that's like... There's five of you? I was including point. you as well. Do we all roll? <laughs> no. Just... Could okay. Sorry, I was actually? a bit confused there for a moment. I mean, I feel like Crumbar sure. is unaidable at this point. I think yeah, this is now yeah. the point where Crumbar has just decided to wander off south. Or at least what he thought was south. <laughs> um, let's see. several hours pass. And Horizon for everybody else, mostly Arya, because Arya is good at like this naturally, because um, I think you have the Outlander background, right? Is that a thing you have? Mm? You have Me? the Outlander background, right? Yep, yep. yep. Travel nomad. Yep. So I would pick up on the fact that are we going the right way? The sun doesn't look the correct position for us to be going that way, right? Would I be the one picking that up? Yeah, so it's like the sun's yeah. here, horizon's there, so we should be on the other side of those two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you you maybe noticed that. So maybe you're the one that kind of maybe you're at the back of the group with the Ruga. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll. Because I could be completely and utterly like lost, you know, just playing bird games with the bird. Just saying. But I like the idea that maybe you're distracted with the bird, and then yeah. you, you look up and you go, "Wait a minute, we're going the wrong way." So yeah, maybe you notice that, and then maybe you could go and approach Crumbar. Okay, I'll be, I'll be doing that. I'll be, like, just speeding up a little bit and uh, catching up with Crumbar, like, tapping him on the shoulder and be like, hey, are we going the right way? Doesn't look like it is. Why did you say that? Because it looks like we're heading the completely wrong direction. And I'll start explaining to him like position of the sun and all of that, and we but, should be going that away. But the land slopes down here. 
So that must be south. <laughs> That's not how this works. And um, I'm just looking at you like, fuck. <laughs> Like, Could I then try to orientate myself by perhaps rolling <laughs> survival if you, if or something one, like, of the sort? Yeah, you can both like be working on that together then. So, Arya, if you want to roll with an advantage, because um, Crumbar oh. is rolling. <laughs> or just roll. Or just roll three times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, didn't right, mean. so what I like about this is that normally I take the second roll if someone's rolling for advantage as the other person that's helping, right? And I like that Crumbar gets the same <laughs> roll. Yeah. Like, but the sun moves. <laughs> How can that tell you where you are? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you get a, a heading properly. Um, like, maybe you help teach Crumbar how to get said heading because um, he definitely does not help you and yeah <laughs> he does try though um, and then yeah that, that all happens etc oh etc et uh, and then you start to head off in what you're kind of convinced is the right direction okay and off you travel uh, right cool uh, with that as well you you travel until nightfall do you want to push on through night time or you just want to stop and make camp? What do we know of this area that we're in? Um, it's south of Horizon. How far, how far have we travelled? One day's travel on foot. But mind you, we were derailed, so we're not as far away from Horizon as we should. Yeah, so see if you imagine like drawing a line from Horizon to that, like the hellhole location. But then at the top you draw like a treble cliff. I would, I'd say that we should rest because, I mean, we are literally walking into a burning inferno. So, yeah, we'll need all the energy we Yeah, can. we're like, I don't want to get there and be exhausted and then be like, oh look, you died to a catapy. <laughs> yeah, you're all going to take quite a while to get here on foot, by the way. You know that, right? Like, it is quite a, quite a journey. I feel like we should probably just where's going. Where's Eric and his hammer? <laughs> That's a very good question. I don't actually even think he charged his hammer either. He says he was going to, but I don't remember him saying, or like actually physically doing so. Um, let's see if I can find out a time frame for you guys and see how long this takes. Hmm. I don't like to think that if we knew it was going to be a long trip that we would have actually taken horses. Nobody did anything in Horizon. I, I mean, the map is there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but I can't appreciate distances in real life. You you can't quite expect me to be able to do that accurately here. <laughs> it's probably going to take you guys mm, probably the better part of a week walking here. But not like a D and D week, which is ten days. Like yeah. maybe about eight, eight days. But we'll see how we do. So, you want to rest up for the night, or push on? Yeah. Um, guys, what do you think? Maybe not have a full night's rest. Maybe, maybe wake up like stupidly early. To be fair, the first night I think we could push on, but. May as well just rest just to be on the safe side, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who's going to take point from now on? <laughs> and I don't mean to <laughs> word it that way. Not deliberately. Yeah. yeah, probably me. A, B, C. Anybody but Crumbar. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's horribly apt. Um, Would right. be A, B, D then? <laughs> but then, Anybody but does Arya have oh. that maternal instinct though where she wants to teach Crumbar how to navigate? You know? Of course! Well, in that case, are you going to let him roll survival while you help? Or are you going to roll survival while still trying to teach him? 
Oh, okay, I'll roll with him. I think he could help you roll survival. Or are you going to help I him? Mean... Who's helping who? That's what I want to know. I I'm going to help him. I, right. want, I want him to. Crumbar, to roll with advantage, please, for survival. We'll see how well a day of Arya's training helps. Also, I think we've just lost Kitty from roll 20. No? I'm st uh, still on it. No, trust me, you're not on roll 20. Boom! Yeah. Right, so mostly My Arya. My help is invaluable! Crumbar. <laughs> 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 actually understands less about tracking on his own. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this is all the opposite direction. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're going uphill. This doesn't make sense. I, <laughs> I like it. I like the idea that it's just that kind of... Ari is like trying to explain it to me and explain it to me and explain it to me and then Jeff Edge just goes, it's this way. <laughs> Basically. And then, yeah, uh, he's travelling another day worth he's get. Again, pretty damn good. You maybe cut off two days, so let's say if it is eight days, we've done two, let's say we've done three days total now. So, um, sleep, push on. Mm, push on. Yeah, let's push on this for once. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah so. I mean... Well, 19 roll, let's push on. Yeah, I think so. Like, I think that's... Um, you Definitely, definitely covered, going the right way, at least. And you've definitely covered way more like, way more ground this day than you did before, even if you ignore like, the slight detour of Crumbar was taken originally. <laughs> um, right, can everyone roll a constitution saving throw, please? Peace. Not with advantage, mm. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Well, dear gods. Yeah. My fuck's dear sake. God. My god. Just made of constitution. <laughs> okay, wow, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, Arya's been doing all the work, so it makes sense that she gets tired first. She's the one actually like hunting things to keep you guys fed because these survivor rules are also feeding you. Um, so you aren't marking off rations for this yet. <laughs> um, Arya, mark down a level of exhaustion for me. Um, you're going to have to remind me where that's from and I'll gladly do it. Add it into a note section somewhere you can see. Possibly in the bio tab. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Yep. And same for you, Kitty. Yeah. Or elf cat, as I named your second sheet. <laughs> <laughs> elf cat. Oh my god, I'm loving. Um. Right, and I think we went over what exhaustion does, but let's just for the folks at home and also us. Um, one level of exhaustion gives you disadvantage on ability checks. Just so you know. Two levels of exhaustion. Your speed is halved. Three levels is disadvantage on attack and saving throws. Four is hit point maximum is halved. Five is your speed is reduced to zero. And six, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh. Yep. So I think, right, four days in, right, because let's just add an extra day for that because you've pushed on, right? Arya's like starting to get like a bit out of it. Um, mm -hmm. Again, bit of a dainty one, you know, so she's a bit out of it. And maybe it's the fact that obviously, Kitty, you're really not used to the body you have, so it's obviously a yeah. lot more work for you. Um, it's like new muscle and everything. Yeah. It's like there's years of training down the drain. Yeah, right, because you do need to kind of like break it in, right? Let's face it. Because um, <laughs> it is, it's like buying new shoes. Yeah, the leather is there, but yeah. then you have to kind of make it supple. So. Yeah. Silver lining, your skin would be perfect. That's brand new. To be fair, she's an elf. I think we know the skin's yeah. going to oh, be yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, good yeah. But very true, yeah, it's probably the best looking um, for like the age of elf you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, Right, so four days in, you've got about half the journey to go, really. Um, but two of the party are flagging, so what's the plan? What, how does that look? Like, who notices what? Who says anything like Arya do you speak up first or do you try and push on like kind of 
Britain bear it? No, to be honest, I'd probably be like, uh, okay, we're really starting to feel the fact that we've pushed through tonight. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So, are you still taking point, or are you going to let someone know that you're too too tired to do so? No, I'll still take point, because I'm afraid that otherwise we're going to end up lost again. Cool. Uh, Crumbar, are you going to help her with uh, the survival check? Yep. Cool. Can you just roll normally for me, Arya? Yep. Me? No. No. <laughs> cool. You're um, struggling to find things to like hunt for people, like for them to eat. Um, mm -hmm. You've brought back like enough to feed half of the party. Yeah, so in that case, what I'll be doing is I'll be using, like, a, one of my own rations for myself and be like, Sorry, guys, this is all I could get today. Uh, since there are five of you, um, total, we're running down to two. So what two are also going to be using rations? I'll use ration. I don't mind. I'll use a ration. I don't mind. Cool. So, uh... Reach and Eric get fed, which is nice. Excuse me. And then. Oh. Oh yeah. Can get. <laughs> yep, he is here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so everybody else who was in that so that's um, Arya, Crumbar, and Kitty. If you yeah, mark off a ration, back. good, good. Yeah. And then yeah, let's press on, shall we? So, are you going to take a rest now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Yep. You can get rid of the exhaustion now, since you aren't pressing on. Yep. Right. Okay. So, in the morning, etc., etc., uh, or maybe a bit later in the morning, since she's pressed on, or you kind of closer to the afternoon. Do you think? Give me a survival check. Who's taking point? Still are you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that's smartest. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. cool. Uh, you can roll with advantage if Crumbar is going to help you again. Yay! Because although, although Aria is leading, in Crumbar's mind it's him that's leading. <laughs> I think that makes sense. And to be fair, Crumbar is starting to... Be. Yeah, he's starting to pick it up. Look at that. Yay! So yeah. Maybe it's just something that you're starting to click with now, Crumbar, or maybe it's the fact that Arya has been quite, as we use the most optimum word, exhausted. Um, or maybe downhill is the right direction at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> He's now in his element. Now the slope goes down the way. Perfect. Ah, Crumbar is king. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy that message earlier. So... Yeah, you head off. Uh, again, you make good time. Just mark off another two days for that, because why the hell not? Uh, right, okay. Cool. Press on, rest. What's the plan? Uh, up to you guys. Um, Wait, well, how, f how many days are we away from it? You've travelled about six days. Yeah, but do we know how much the total distance is? No, because you don't have an overhead map view like I do. Uh, the fact that we went on for six days, I say rest up. Rest. Because I think yeah. we're close now. Yeah. Cool. Chances are we are. So it's fine. Yep, we can skip to the survival check again if you want. Unless, Crumbar, yeah. are you going to be confident enough to take the lead this time? Uh, what, what are we doing a survival check for? To travel. Food and direction. Yep. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll just... I'll, I'll roll. Yep, um, and if Arya's going to help... That would be advantage, unless Ari says, fuck you, man. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Oh, for the love of... Uh, uh, well. Why do you let me do things? Because it makes the story interesting. So, obviously, the land has plateaued, so Crumbar is lost again. Um, <laughs> and... Um, Arya, give me a perception check with advantage... Oh 
And can everybody else tell me what your actual passive perceptions are? Mine's is 13. 2? No, that's fishing. Uh, 12. Cool. Passive perception is bigger than what I rolled oh. here. Can't yep. I use that? No, passive perception is 10. Mine's 14. Cool. Oof. So, Kitty notices this first, but we'll see it from obviously Arya's point of view with obviously her and Crumbar wondering, and this is maybe why she's a bit distracted on the old navigating. Crumbar obviously again, the ground's plateaued, you don't know why, like what weighs six anymore. Um, but you don't hear any animals anymore. Like, nature seems to have kind of stopped. And this is something what Kitty picks up on as well, like like maybe Kitty just notices this naturally because again, being a wood elf, like, you're just kind of like, wait a minute, there are no like cricket noises or birds mm -hmm. or I've not seen like any animals run randomly, there's nothing overhead. Yeah. And then um, Kitty as well, like off in the distance towards the direction you're going, it does seem a lot more kind of cloudy and overcast. Where you're heading. Yeah. Is Rhea going nuts as well? Rhea is like behaving, but hasn't been as like chirpy or active or interactive, maybe. Um, mm. Very quiet. Yeah, I was just about to ask you about Rhea. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. So, oh. Rhea is very um, sedate, you could say. But yeah, um, he's with only to eat rations, there's nothing, no game. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. What? Right. I just signed off there. No game. Bye. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, everybody who has rations, mark them down. I'm assuming these are all good for rations because I think these have stocked up pretty damn well. You yeah, I've still got seven. Yeah. Dear gods. I had ten to start with, so I'm down to eight now. Seven. Yeah. I feel like eventually I need to decide if there's an expiration date on those, but I feel like if you're hungry, you're going to eat them, so I don't really. like. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, you're going to eat them yeah. if you're hungry, so. Um, they're not really meant to be tasty anyway, unless it's the elves that made it. So, Limbus bread. Mm -hmm. Right, so, resting again? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. it's probably good. Um, right, can everyone give me a... Let's see. You can give me a con or a wisdom save. I don't mind which one you want to go for. You can give me one of the two. <coughs> Same for me. Jesus. Oh, sorry, that's still with advantage. One sec. Doesn't matter. I have it's the okay. I have the number. It's okay. Right. So, Grumbar, level of exhaustion. Mhm. Mm uh, everything else is fine. <laughs> the reason for that is, for some reason, you just you cannot sleep that well at all. Like I've, all, I've made the assumption you all take watch and such and like stagger it all so you all get like rest well not just mauled by bears but the octo bear obviously as we all hear. <laughs> and then I'm actually just going to write a note for octo bear so that I know that that's a thing I'll bring up at some point. But yeah there's um, just something about the place that you're like in isn't comfortable it's actually quite unnerving for you Crumbar to that point where you're like I don't know if I want to sleep you know maybe like um, mm -hmm. almost like an ang not like when you get like anxiety for the next day if you've got like some kind of big test or anything or if you're just in general worried about something yeah it's whatever it is it's not sitting well with you and like you know it's bad because it's physically not sitting well with you you know mm. but Everybody wakes up. You have one level of exhaustion, as I said, Grumbar. Um Right. Who is taking point? Yes, I'll you? take point. Oh. Yeah, you want to take point this time, yeah? I mean, I think, what, well, this is the seventh day now. I think I know how to walk and navigate. I've been practicing on the way kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've obviously been kind of keeping edgy on them, trying to pick up on their... I I just like the fact that Kitty's probably just like, left foot, right, left foot, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, right, so do you speak up then in the morning to say you're going to take point, or like, how does that go? 
Because I think they actually are you, and obviously Crumbar would probably think. Well, Crumbar's I'd... tired. He's not care. He's not having fun anymore. He's like, I don't want to play this <laughs> game anymore. I just, I'd, I'd ask like, guys, can I try take point? If I don't think I'm actually up to it, someone can take over. But I'd like to try. Of course. Fine. Yay! So, is yeah, Ender gonna good. help? Or are you just going to let her see how she does? <laughs> just let me go on my own like help. Bambi. <laughs> yeah, you can roll with advantage if Arya's going to help. Yeah, so what am I doing? So you toggle advantage at the top of your character sheet. Oh, I've done that. I and mean, then which roll one am survival. I and roll to d20. No, like, <laughs> right, so again, your thoughts are there's a giant cloud over those woods. Maybe I'll walk that way. Hmm. So you start heading that way. Luckily, it's uh, again somewhat downhill. And um, I think, Arya, maybe the more you're walking, the reason why you're not really paying that much attention to like help Kitty navigate or anything is that Ruya seems to get more and more like upset. Yeah, and I keep I'm, being distracted by my poor little birdie. Yeah, and it's it is quite difficult to obviously focus. So. Yeah, you maybe want to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah. But yeah, you make it forward. You still need to eat rations again as well. Um, because there is still no food. Nom nom nom. Nothing huntable here. Uh, so mark off another ration, everybody. Oh. Right. Can, so. I, can I sleep this time? <laughs> well. It is night time, and these are heading into the direwood. Okay. Now, as you start to kind of like, you've maybe for about maybe an hour or two been walking through the direwood. Again, Kitty and Arya probably noticed this first. There are dead animals littered around the place. So. Oh. Can we eat them? Not like piled up if that makes sense, but like as if they died where they were. Um, yeah. But no, like maybe at that point, like again, do you see anything at first if you two are like taking point on this or? Um, do we notice if they're like mutated at all or is it just literally they're dead? You've only just kind of yeah, noticed them as you're heading. Yeah, do we notice anything weird about them? You could go closer and investigate. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be smart. Mm. Um, so what should I do? Perception? Well, you've got a couple of options, right? So, investigate to try and glean some information in general. You could try nature to glean, obviously, if there's anything from nature knowledge that you're trying. You could try arcana if you're trying to go down the is it mutated, you know, unnaturally versus is it mutated yeah. naturally. You see what I mean? So there's options. Look at yeah. the the skill list and you tell me what you like. It's more about what I'm you're probably, trying to learn. I'm probably going to go for arcana. Uh, Kana, because I've got a plus four in that. No, uh, I, w I want your character reason. Why would Kitty think magically about it? <laughs> Not why well, Sophie knows she wants to roll Arcana, because <laughs> it's a higher number. <laughs> um, well, going from past experiences at the Void, or what do you call it? The Abyss. The, void. the Abyss, that's the one. Mm -hmm. um, that there was mutation, mutated animals around there. So that could hint that we're mm -hmm. closer to one of these. Yeah. yeah do you want to roll Arcana then? Yeah. I'd be rolling nature because I'd be like. Yeah, you can roll nature you know, as well. Also, there are animals the where nature makes that. sense that I use my nature stuff. You untoggle your uh, advantage there, by the way. Oh, I thought it was because she was still helping. No, because she's not helping. She's doing a different thing. Oh. Yeah. Well. 18 is still pretty damn good, though. It is still good, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but 22. Yep, yep. yep. Um. But yeah, so, okay, exactly what you thought. Yep, it looks like these things have been like warped, but not fully. It looks like whatever yeah. they were used to, like for example, if something needs to breathe, it's as if their lungs were mutated beyond that capacity, thus they suffocated and died, or something like that, huh. you know? Things oh, got changed within them. Like for yeah. example, maybe all their veins just decided to be, you know, solid, for example. Yeah. Um, without being like the kind of you know canals they should be, or tubes they should be. Um, yeah. 
So maybe you can like get your knife out and kind of like poke around, and <laughs> like yeah, it's not not great at all. With your nature check as well, there, it looks like um, again for you, Arya, when you're searching around, you know, it's not only are these things not quite right, um, they do remind you of things closer to the abyss when you were getting there and what you were reading about the effects of the abyss and the way it kind of alters things but you notice the area around where all the bodies are as well seems to have been affected as well but it seems to only be surrounding as if it came from the bodies or the like you know oh. the mm. carcasses so you learn that part where obviously maybe Kitty's too focused on the specific like carcass itself Whereas, are yeah. you notice the surroundings of them seems to have been warped and twisted also? Mm. So yeah, and obviously everybody else notices that, you know, the elephant half elf are staring at stuff intently, and they're dead. <laughs> ends. Again, it's not like you've come across like a massive pile of twenty deers or something. It's like it's like maybe one deer with like really kind of weirdly gnarled um, antlers that all kind of maybe like grow spikes upon spikes again. Yeah, and then maybe some of the spikes are like folded back into like the deer's head and things like that. Like, yeah, very grim. But that's like the thing you notice. And then maybe when you've noticed that, you've looked around and spotted a couple of other things where they would naturally have been, but now seem to have died. Hmm. I think while well, they're <laughs> sorry, I think while well, they're both kind of staring intensely at this, the dead animals, I just kind of walk up and just look at one of them and be like, so, can we eat it? I'm gonna say no. I don't think it would be smart. Mm. Ah, they don't seem to have died a natural death. Yeah, okay. I'll take your advice. And then as he kind of walk away and just like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, do, you use, <laughs> do you use rest here or do you push on a bit more to maybe not rest in the weird dead area? Yeah, I, I don't think we'd like to rest in the weird area that full of dead stuff. I mean, for all I know, it could be the same as we go on, but just saying. Mm. It's up to you guys. What's the plan? Pushing on? Go on a little bit anyway. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, like maybe try and like scout further in. No, or two, can you think? But... Yeah, that makes sense. So, as I said, it's like he's maybe got into the woods and then it just seems to be darker, so you don't really have a good sense of what time it is at this point. Um, because again, it is darker, A, because you're in the woods, and also because it was very overcast the closer you got to here. So, it's a lot more grim um, in general. Uh, a bit harder to see. Luckily though, Eric's the only one that would struggle to see anyway, so... <laughs> Everybody else gets that nice dark black and white vision um, because of their uh, their magical eyes. He's so, just tied the rope around him and he's bouncing off the Just trees. pulling him, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Copious amount till there's a bubble wrap. We'll just drag you, I'll be fine. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Still got him. Um, sorry, Eric. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably still quieter than him just walking through the woods normally anyway with thunder waves and thunder claps so <laughs> but yeah you who's taking point that's a good question uh, uh, yeah. I think, uh, it yeah. will still be me I think yeah well, yeah have, have we all rested up now no. as well yeah no right no okay. you chose to yeah. keep uh, walking uh, away from the definitely, death pile <laughs> definitely not me okay so Arya I need you to roll Perception. Okay. You could probably do it with advantage, not that it matters, but roll advantage no, anyways. Just roll again. You try and see if she'll get a twenty-five. Um, it's not that. I just want to know if, uh, like, I was debating it in my head. I'm like, you probably would be keeping an eye out based on what's happened. Yeah, there you go. So, not saying that. Roll twenty provides, right? I'm not saying that roll twenty provides, but now Stuart has 
become one. I think Roll20 has finally accepted you, Stuart. You'll never die again, Stuart! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, right, Arya, you're up front, obviously. Now you have a choice. Yes? You can see light faintly through the weave of trees. Right? Because okay. there's that kind of almost... It's more that you can see colour far off instead of your black and white night vision. Right? So okay. there's that, so you know there's, we know there's, there's light. light. Yep. Yeah. But Ruya. Ruya is not comfortable here at all. To the point where if you went any further forward at this point, you would lose any form of like stealth. Because she'd start making noises. Okay. She, she kind of is making noises. She's not loud, but she's not quiet. I guarantee you the light up ahead is fiery down there, so we should rest. You also so have is it... other animals on the way here, but nothing like, you know, a rabbit here, a octobear there, you know. Octobear! So, can I just check this light thing? Is it in the direction that we're heading towards. Yes. Okay. Yep. No, but it would be curious to. I can't be any more than two, three hours away at the most. You'd think. Yeah, like it's. Oh. As I said, it's literally like as soon as you got a flash of color, your brain was like, "Wait a minute, there's something over there causing light." Um, because let's face it, if you grew up with dark vision, right? What ages are you again? Like, you know, some many years. I expect her to be quite young, so like in her 20s or so. Yes, oh, but, think... but if you've had like dark vision for 20 years, you'd get very used to seeing black and white and colour and knowing why you can see colour during the mm -hmm. day. So mm -hmm. I think it's reasonable to think instantaneously you'd be like, wait a minute, there's, there's yeah. a light up ahead, which means given your background as well, it could be a campfire in the middle of the woods, right? Yeah. Especially given that you're pretty sure it's the middle of the night. Yeah. No, what I'm thinking is if we were going into some direction and we saw like that light in a slightly different direction, I'd be like, oh yeah, campfire, let's go explore, probably other travelers and whatever. But it, if it is in the direction that we're traveling in, towards and it's making Rhea even more agitated, then yeah, I don't know. But yeah, maybe it's the combination mm. of you seeing that and then Rhea freaking out that's like made you stop in your tracks yeah 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 I'm just trying to figure out what to do about her now because the idea is if I like order her to head back I don't know how much she can head back to mm. safety and me finding her afterwards <laughs> mm. that's the only thing I'm worried about because if there was maybe something on the way like a specific like just meadow to, or just creek just start picking at Eric's threads right on his suit, right? And just like tear a bit <laughs> off so it starts to like free. Tie that round Ruya's foot and just send her off. <laughs> and then you know when Eric's fully naked that you should probably go looking for your bird. <laughs> just saying, if I was in this party, um. you would never get lost. <laughs> okay. And we'd have a naked Eric and I still wouldn't know where my bird is. I mean, I'm not saying I can solve all the problems. Just that <laughs> Eric would be naked. So, But anyway, in seriousness, Again. what are you going to do, as are you, about Ruya in this situation? Also, everybody else might be I wondering why you've just stopped. But home. yeah. <laughs> Well, not home, but like maybe I'd just throw your escort, but I didn't think. Um, I mean, you could just. You can speak to Ruya, right? So you, I, could, you could probably just. Tell yeah, Ruya yeah. To go what back I'm there. going to do <laughs> is. Yeah, I. And also, if I tell her to go there, I'll also like send a little note on her foot so that they know, you know, she's not returning because we're dead, she's returning because. <laughs> Yeah. She'd be She'd... safer with them. Yeah, it's not like, you know, the funeral messenger. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, you know, like when the horse returns without a rider, mm -hmm. it's usually a bad sign sort of thing. Faramir, no. So... Spoiler alert. 
I was trying not to make any <laughs> references because I couldn't decide which one's best. But oh well. There's so many. Um, right. So yeah. I know, when, right. So you um, stop. You write on this note. Um, yeah. What are you writing? And I, I, I basically tell her, please care for my bird. Um, we are currently. Um, how do I put this? We are in a place that's unsafe for her, so um, I've asked her to return to safety. Okay. And send her on her way towards the Storius Court. So, Horizon, then? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, the idea of being Ruya, with your understanding at a bird level, trying to navigate Horizon which normal people and wizards Damn. struggle. It would be interesting to have the you know, the Lost episode, like Avatar The Last Airbender style, where you just have a day in the life of Ruya. Um, well, to be honest, if she manages to get close to the city, that's fine, because she'll be able to hunt like little rats yeah. and mice and whatever. But just, you know, Plus, Ru as far Ruya away can definitely from cover more ground than you can, right? Quicker. Right. Yeah, and she would definitely understand, you know, go back to the weird place. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ruya looks so ahead, I'm, looks I'm behind, hoping. looks ahead, looks at Crumbar, looks behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to convey. Go back to the weird place and stay there till we find you. And that should be, like, I think, simple enough. Yeah. I think, no, I think um, that's fair. So, you stop, you catch a glimpse of this up ahead, you quickly yeah. scribble stuff on a note, tie it to Ruya's foot. Central yeah, off. just in case somebody finds her or captures her or whatever, just to so that they know. She like goes and soars like through Aww. all the branches and works her way out, which is probably really like horrible and painful, but like eventually gets through it all because fuck this place, mm. I'm out. And then <laughs> <laughs> poor birdie. Bye. So what's everybody else is a like plan with that? Because obviously, yeah, there's maybe a bit. Maybe not quite an hour ahead would be this social light that Arya can see at the moment. But you have mostly just seen Arya stop leading the pack and send her bird off with a note. So it seems there's trouble up ahead. I would be concerned. Hmm. Crombar's exhausted. I really want to sleep and get rid of this before we continue any further. That would probably be a good idea. Can you sleep though? That is the question. Because we are still in the area you didn't like. Mm, I'd at least like to try and get get a few hours sleep. I mean, yeah, I suppose the, the current concern based on people's wisdom scores to know this would be, one, are you too close that people from whatever the social light would be might find you guys? Two, mm. as Katie said, what if you get two levels of exhaustion? Mm. Just gonna put so that out there. Just gonna put that we, out we there. We sleep in 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 turns anyway, so you know. Yep. Shall we? We take we take Can turns we? being you know up. Yeah. So I think we should Which try to sleep. Which means she'll be sleeping not in armor, not that reach cares. Uh, shall oh, we? Oh, um, <laughs> monks. Shall we retreat back a wee bit to have a, have a safer place then? I think we'd have to retreat quite a lot for that. I would agree. Right. Go, gonna have a nap by this tree. <laughs> Kathump. So I guess Crumbar collapses. What's everybody else's plan? Push on? Or. Because I said you've got probably, no. as I said, maybe less than an hour, are you, you estimate, to get to whatever the source of that light is off in the distance? I think we should rest. Probably a good idea just in case, because it does sound a bit. Possibly dodgy, but probably useful. Let's recall as a group, so reach Europe for resting. Okay, push on, rest. Yeah. Uh, rest. Right, I guess that's kind of, you know, yeah, that's unless yep, yep. Arya's going to go Rambo on us and go off on her own. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we need. I mean, uh, anything's, uh, anything's possible, members. right? I think we need everyone at full strength as best we can, so. Yeah, so I think we should just like. We, we take watch in turns, but we do rest. I think that would be my my idea. Okay, well, I need a 
everyone to roll constitution or wisdom saving throw. I'm so tempted to roll this way uh. Uh. Oh no. Oh my god, what's with all of us? Oh my fuck. Yep, so everyone has one level of exhaustion added on to their sheet. Oh boy. What does exhaustion level to do? I'll read you it again. <laughs> Your speed is halved. Yep. Yeah. And number one is Alma Rosa with disadvantage. No, isn't it? disadvantage on ability checks. Oh, right. Well, is that all? Yes, that's all. Oh, is that all? No, oh, I would have pressed on then. I mean, Sorry, guys. I mean, we went over this. So, yeah, none of you can sleep. There's just. Great. I think it's maybe also the lack of noise is really disturbing. I think that's the main thing that gets to everybody is that you just can hear each other breathe and like move in your armor and the place is unnerving. Like the, this place is creepy as fuck, right? But like it's not creepy that you hear off like creaking trees and stuff. You don't hear that and you're like, but they yeah. should be creaking. God, if you weren't even on a noisy boat during the fight, we could still probably hear Crumbar sleep. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's orc breathing. <laughs> Have the eyes of a hawk. <laughs> so, yeah, like a whole like you know eight hours of long resting pass. No light level, no light level changes in terms of um, the place, but yeah, like, yep. Again, place the, is still dark. Yeah, but the lights are still in the distance as well. Well, only Arya spotted that off in the distance in that kind of rough direction. Yeah. Right. Arya, can you still see them? Yeah. Yeah, I'd still be able to see that light, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. And then obviously, she's pointing it out, and everybody else can probably spot it as well, given the same vision, etc. Yeah. Yep. But you all feel just that wee bit out of sorts, you know? What's the plan? I say we go and investigate, say hello to the new neighbours. Mm -hmm. uh, you're all welcome to attempt stealthing up to it if you want. Keep in mind that is things you could try. Yeah, again, or can full armour, no. Yeah, I mean, we're rolling with disadvantage anyway. <laughs> so, I like the idea of just going balls to the wall and just running. I think someone should is. sneak up first. Keep yeah. the loud, clunky person behind. Well, the rogue would be the best one for sneaking up. I'm yeah, are you still a nature. rogue? I mean, yeah. keep in mind, right, people okay. don't wear their class as a badge, so... <laughs> you know, she was a weird cat before, and now she's an elf. I don't think you can just look at someone and say, you're a rogue. Granted, she's probably stealing stuff as you're staring at her, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... In a forest, that's called scrumping, mind oh. you. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> also, okay, it's with disadvantage, remember? All ability checks have disadvantage. Oh. So just well, roll again. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll go with the uh, the 17, shall we? <laughs> um, well, yeah. MDL scone, or? Uh, no. Not quite as good as you, so won't bother. Okay, so you, you never know. So you head up a way ahead then. Okay, right, and you leave the party. You start going sneak sneak sneak. Sneak sneak sneak. And we just have this shot of the forest and then you like zipping be behind trees coming towards the camera. And then um with your vision as well, more and more of the kind of distant forest starts to kinda of become that kind of weird greyish kind of slight um greyish brown. Um so the colour starts to seep in and do you want to give me a perception check, please? It will be with disadvantage, obviously. <laughs> yep. And you, you hear Holy voices crap. talking. Do I understand what they're saying? Uh, yeah, it sounds like two people talking about, you know, what you would run about a fire, I guess, like a campfire. 
Oh, um, like just... general, like actual off-duty shit, right? But they sound um, speaking common or the phrase soldierin would be uh, the one I'd use. They they sound soldierin, you know, like they're off-duty soldiers. Hmm. So nothing kumbaya. Like... No, like it's very <laughs> much a, uh, you know. This is miserable. Ah, it's miserable. You know, how long till next watch? This long till next watch? Blah blah blah. Like that, the usual crap. How are the supplies? Supplies are fine. Like generic businessy talk. Very little in the way of like small talk. There's not very much in. Like when you're talking to a friend, or you can see people are friends. That's yeah. not like that. Can't they recognize their armor. I know I'm chucking. I no, she can't. She can't see them. Was, like, she's she's not was, close enough to see them yet. She's just hearing them. It just depends if she wants to go further ahead. Yeah, I'll sneak a bit further. Oh my, such sneak. That's okay. Sneak. We will still use your roll. That is fine. Uh, let me test this then, shall I? I need to test this before I move you because who knows. Uh, yeah, that seems, that seems reasonable. Let's pop you. There. Well, fun. Uh, I'm just gonna move everybody else into the trees. Uh, right, okay, so. This should move you, but let's find out. Hmm? And let me move our recording as well. Yeah, should we be able to see this? No. Right, cool. Yeah, I was just about to say that. It's working then. So, obviously <laughs> you can't move. Right, so don't move your token, but you should be able to see. Yep. Right. So you spot. I don't know if this is going to show every day or just the people on the screen. See them? Those were the people from the abyss, right? I can't see them. I know you can't, because you're not there. Right, okay, right, no, right, <laughs> I, I thought my roll 20 had maybe fun. Nope. So, are you going to go back or are you going to go in? Oh, I'm going to go back and be like, yo guys, it's the people from the abyss, run! <laughs> so let me move you back. <laughs> Pop all back in. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Right, so maybe half an hour, uh, I'd say, but yeah, maybe half an hour, like 40, 40 minutes maybe, pass, and then Kitty returns. Yeah, so there's enemy guards up ahead. Um, there's a few of them, so get your game faces on, I guess. Oh. Now, does MD ask, what enemy? How do we know they're <laughs> enemies? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure they were the same ones in the abyss. Dude, I've been wanting to have oh. a second run with these guys. How many was there? Uh, there was two at the campsite and sounded like there was more further ahead. Hmm. I think we can take them. At half speed. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> I'll yep. try and draw them back to to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we should perhaps try to sneak in on the first two. Can we stealth kill them? Yeah, as there some kind of sneak attack. And then... There's a... Um, if you can roll well enough, they won't see you and you will be in range. Then you do an attack yeah. and then we roll True. initiative. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, free shot in. Yeah. yeah. yeah free shot It'd be in. worth trying that. It would be. Mm -hmm. I'm decent at stealth. I'm not as good as you. Uh, elf, how, you look how, how do you tell <laughs> how good you are at stealth, by the way? You look at your stealth skill. Mine's one. seven. <laughs> Mine's is one. Yeah. <laughs> one is an Orkin plate mail. One is like a lithe wood elf. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the stats give you a good picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's the plan? We're going to sneak in? Sneaky snack. Yeah, I'm happy to try and sneak. 
Right, so you really want we're, me to taste we're, me? we're all gonna roll, right? Now keep in mind, you all need to willingly move at half speed anyway to try and sneak worth Crumbar. <laughs> right? It's gonna be interesting. Also, uh, it's gonna be the yeah. lowest roll that matters, let's face it, as a group. Yeah. Yep. But that is all individual rules. There's no getting rid of the disadvantage by helping each other, unless literally people were wrapping him in cotton wool. No. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean, how much cotton wool have we brought? Uh, none, <laughs> unless you take Let's again go. Eric's clothes again. <laughs> 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 uh, you're only with disadvantage, remember? Yeah. But could we oh, Anna. leave oh, yeah. Trumba I mean, behind and he charge in? We could wrap him in the bedroll. Uh, he can't charge. Because that's not a thing he can actually do. Yeah, right. Well, he's screwed us already. Cool. Well, it's stealth, yeah. Well, technically, it's a twelve and a seventeen. Yeah, the tw it's the twelve and the seventeen. He just can't actually roll oh, it for sure. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, I didn't. I'm. I got the best roll <laughs> <laughs> in Fuck his yeah. goddamn armor. But maybe that's because he's had to always be careful about sneaking, because he's yeah. always been at disadvantage in his armor. That makes sense to me. Time you sneak into a pub late at night or something. <laughs> <laughs> sneak back in, you mean. Back yeah, in. Back in. <laughs> <laughs> Which is difficult when you think of Crumbar's like, yeah. silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think what happens is we have that shot of all of you going, sneak, 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 sneak. Snap stop, of a branch. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Nope. Snap mm. of a branch. Crumbar like, whips his head round and looks... Directly at. <sighs> it's, well, Arya what? got the lowest roll, so. Okay, okay. Starts right back to Arya. And then. Yeah. I, I guess you hear the. What was that? Noise coming from the campfire, and we will take our break here for dramatic effect. Du, du, du. <laughs> dun dun dun! Freeze frame. <gasps> um, right, we will come back in 10 minutes. Try not to take too much longer than the 10 minutes. And goodbye, everybody, for listening so far. Bye! Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>